So three three-minute rounds to join Latipov of Uzbekistan in the final. We're underway. Misha Aluan of Russia in blue. Chachai Butti of Thailand in red. Well, Butti of Thailand, convincing performance on his way here, but the Russian has been absolutely flawless in terms of his efforts at these championships. But dear Southport moves well, scores well, but lacks the power that the Russian can bring to this. Alone, bronze medal at the 2012 Olympics. So he comes to this on paper as being, well, I would say the pundit's choice. Plus, of course, he. he He's here to defend that world title. He might have had a few blips uh, over the last couple of seasons, but when you're back, you're holding the world title. Uh, there's not many who uh, actually regain it, hold it for two years, or uh, indeed a four-year period. They get it a second time. Now Aluan and Butti just figuring each other out here. So it's uh, Southpaw versus Southpaw. Russian catching Thai fighter with that flying right hand. The Russian just much more composed. Having a good look to see what Butti can bring. get the sense that he's just waiting before he starts to go to work and open up. This would be a big step up for Bukdi. Alian, a Russian national champion. Back in 2010 and in 2011. European Championships in Moscow. Come off the back of a recent silver medal at the Summer Universiade. Bundy showed great promise in the Olympic Test event in London. Came in at first place when he went to the Olympics to settle for ninth. Well, that's it, end of round one. The noise in here as the Kazakh fans make themselves heard. It's a hard to actually hear the bell. Thailand's Bukti just being shown uh, a bit of a class there from uh, the Russian. He's a good operator, the Russian, and he really hasn't gone into overdrive yet. You just get the feeling that uh, Aloyan is waiting to unwind and uh, put D trying to work out what's going to go on, but um, a lot of explosive power to come from the Russian. So this is how the judges see it, uh, all towards Aluan of Russia, 9-10 across the board. And, uh, well, I think that uh, was pretty obvious to everyone here as well. Aluan looked in control throughout. And it'll be interesting to see exactly what his tactics are in the second and third round, whether he really starts to put his foot down and take control of this. So we're back out for round number two. Uh, Aluan of Russia in blue, Budi of Thailand in red. And it's the Thai who uh, makes uh, a pretty frenetic start. Keen to get to it. Budi turned his man, brought up a, an uppercut with his right hand, but uh, by that time alone was through the ropes. But uh, just look at the Russian now. He's headhunting with big shots. Got that right hand up ready for use the lead right hand of Aloyan very very useful obviously in a jab at that flying left hook that he's got into the body up to the head
So both fighters southpaw. They're going to need positional tactics to come into play here. Just a few inches off centre is the difference between a closed opportunity and an open door. Aloya knows this. He's trying to off-foot Butti. Butti gets tagged there with the left hand. Aloya brings the right hand in. In that hook there again. Takes off, brings the hook in. So in the counter, the lawyer really dominating here. Chachai Butti has to bring the fight to the Russian. He's being punished when he does. confident now, enough now to start slipping and ducking the punches. <laughs> Trying to finish the round strongly. Oh, that was a lovely combination, ending with that right hand again. It's got an interesting stance, the Russian. At times, he's almost entirely square on to the Thai athlete. So quick, he can get away with it. That's it, Bell's gone, end of round number two, and uh, Aluan still looks pretty much in control. The Russian looks very solid, and uh, if he does go through to the final, it'll be a fascinating counter between him and Latipov. Oh, this is when he got him up against the ropes, and uh, luckily for Butti, he managed to slip his way out of it. Got tagged there, Will. Yeah, this has taken a turn in terms of momentum. Aloyan really starting to dominate now. And 9-10 across the board from all of the judges. 18-20 apiece, all in favour of the Russian Aluan, who uh, looks pretty solid at the moment. The crowd here are getting behind him. They appreciate the Russian, they appreciate his skill. And the fact that he is almost into the final now, ready to defend that world championship title that he has. Three more minutes of boxing then. Whoever loses will get the bronze. Will Aluan march on to the final though? Misha Aluan of Russia in blue, Chat Chai Butti of Thailand in red. Well, so far it's been a champion's performance. <laughs> He's come here quite clearly to make a statement of intent. And that statement is, if you want the crown, you're going to have to come and take it. And up until now, Butti just hasn't presented the tools to do that. And Russian now using this last round to display his skills. That explosive <laughs> speed. And straight in behind a body punch. Great right hand to the midsection of Bukdi. Again, midsection, slightly low the punch. That was a cracking left hand though from Chachai Bukdi. And again he catches the champion. Lion needs to have a care when he comes in. He's not going to have it all his own way. So Chachai Butti very much in this. And uh, in boxing, you've always got a puncher's chance. We're only halfway through this third and final round. Another shot like that could turn things around incredibly in favour of the tie. Well, he'd really have to dominate to get uh, scores of 10-8 to uh, match Aluan in terms of overall points. So really, he's going to have to try and knock him down here. And uh, a couple of good shots, well, it's not enough to take a 10-8 round, that's for sure. The Russian, the first minute or so there, looked pretty good. But it's interesting, 
but he can get through. It'll give him some confidence here. So we have one minute, 10 seconds left, but he's going to have to charge in here, try and get it going, try and knock him on his back. Woodley got caught just on the top of the temple there. That's a dangerous place. hand from Aloyan, again comes in behind the right, swings that left round. Less than 30 seconds to go now, and the Russian goes strong. Even if he loses this round, 10-9 across the board, it won't be a problem, he'll go into the final. Well, dominating this, showing strength, speed, aggression, all the things that are markers and indicators for the judges. So, uh, it does look as if the tie's journey ends here. Well, yeah, that was a lovely match in the end, and uh, Butti, I bet he wishes it was another three rounds. He was just starting to come to life there. And Aliwan actually looks a little bit fatigued. He'll need all uh, 24 of those 24 hours. That's where that cracking left hand was, Will. He got two on the trot, Bukti, and, um, well, any lesser fighter, and he might have knocked the man down, but uh, a lawyer, hard as nails. A champion. Looks like he'll move forward. So who will be fighting uh, Jasurbik Latibov of Uzbekistan in the final tomorrow? The Thai athlete beats his chest, he thinks it's him. Well, perhaps it'll be a surprise like the first fight. He would need 10 eights. Now, it was never going to happen. Early man of Russia. He may well have lost by uh, two judges in the final round, but he's done enough. 28 29, 28 29. And one judge saw it all the way, Aliwan, which uh, you can understand as well. And he won that round.